All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. This is the Feature Feature. My name is Hunter Willis, and this is Aptio's roll-up of what's new and what's coming. Uh, here this month in June, we're doing a three-part series, and we're going to be focusing uh, today on target process. Yesterday's episode, we focused on the updates for cloudability, and the one before that, we were talking about Aptio 1. And again, in line with our Aptio's user conference this month, these updates basically are some of the things that have rolled up over the past few months, uh, some of the highlights that we want to bring, as well as there are some new features included um, with what we are going to be talking about um, even today. So, uh, talking about the agenda here as well, uh, covering, again, that this is a three-part series for June. This is the last episode, again, aligned with our Aptio User Conference that was on June 8th. I'm going to give a little highlight um, description of the Aptio User Conference, and then we're going to dive into what's new with Target Process and go over some details for that as well. So for the user conference that happened on June 8th, it was a really great event happened. Uh, the in-person portion of it happened in Chicago, but we did also host it online. So check that out next year. Um, we do that all around the world too. So there will be other, this was the America's user conference. There will be user conferences uh, for, uh, for EMEA and some of the other regions around the globe. So stay tuned for those as well. Get to hear stories and experiences from our customers and learn best practices from experts in TBM, FinOps, and Agile. That's some of the best information that, that really we're able to provide as an organization is not just, hey, here's our solution, here's the value it brings, but really being able to highlight stories from our customers, hear them talk about the challenges that they face as they go through digital transformation and implementing TBM to really show how their IT organizations prove out how they're bringing value back to their organizations. So really, really happy to be able to surface that kind of content. So do stay tuned for some of the uh, the content that's going to be coming out from that this month. Um, also, we got to hear from Aptio's Chief Technology Officer, Jeremy Ung, a bit about Aptio, the value we're bringing, where we're heading as an organization, but also to uh, we got to hear from Aptio CEO Sonny Gupta talk about his views on the evolution of TBM, where it's been and where it's headed. Right, so there's a whole lot of exciting information that's that's coming out of the conference there, and um, it really was a was a great event there on June 8th. So diving into the updates for target process, the first thing to cover is our integration to automated data management. This is one of our kind of back-end systems that works with Aptio One, and it really is uh, incorporating target process now in a way that makes it seamless to transfer data between the two platforms. And this, of course, is enabling that combining of data from target process and Aptio One so that you can build actionable reports, um, have those insights at the executive portfolio and program levels, right? This enables your dashboards, okay, to show progress on key business level objectives and then flag any risks or anomalies that need to be actioned with those. And then, of course, incorporating a lot of that data um, from target process and um, Aptio One to the the uh, the other sets of data that we have in our product suites and Aptio BI, making it easier and easier. Right, a lot of these updates are focused on making it much easier to surface and correlate and basically do side by side comparisons of data as well as be able to distribute that data really easily to the people that need to see it within the organization, no matter what their role. So. Next update here, validation rules. Okay, validation rules enable users to define parameters and rules and workflows to verify processes or prevent circumventing a process, right? So for basically parameters around different actions that users can take, either preventing them to take actions because they're not the right role or setting up basically prerequisites in order to move forward with different actions that are taken within target process. This is really to improve data integrity with the solution and also improve security, right, by being able to prevent users from taking certain actions. Okay, so it's really easy to set up validation rules. You can make them complex, you can make them simple, right, depending on the use cases and what you need to have happen for your users within the solution. And as you can see here in the example, right, if a user goes to take an action, uh, they're given the ability to, to see why they're not able to take that action. So these have been really great updates, and we're looking forward to seeing more how target process is being integrated into Aptio One and Cloudability as time rolls on, uh, really focusing on bringing a, our products together as one cohesive ecosystem where you can really get that data um, ingested and visible for everybody that needs to see it. 
All right. Well, this has been the June updates for the feature feature. This is the end of our three-part series here. As always, to find out what's new and what's coming with our products, you can log into the the help center there. Uh, when you when you go into our products, check out that documentation. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see a What's New section for each product while you're looking at that documentation. So that's going to surface those, uh, those new features. A lot of times there's screenshots, uh, sometimes steps to take to take advantage of that new feature. So do be on the lookout for that as well. My name is Hunter Willis. Again, this is the feature feature. Check us out next month. Please do, if you have any questions or want to leave us some feedback, comment, um, like, and share our information there. Also, check out our blog for more details and information. Usually when we do a major update, right, we'll write a blog about it and talk about the value that it brings and um, some of the things that we're seeing in the industry, best practices in there as well too sometimes. So check that out at aptio.com. Once this is published after it streams, we'll put it up on YouTube with additional links and information there too. Thanks again for watching today, and we'll see you next month here on The Feature Feature.